<laughs> Hello. Thank you. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I've made one of these videos. Today, we are doing a collective haul. I want to mention that this might possibly be the last video that I film in this bedroom ever. What? Yeah, I've tweeted about this. I haven't really talked about it though, but um, our lease is ending in this house and I already have my own place. I've signed the lease, she's ready to go. And I'm moving in like four or five days. What? Yeah, so get ready for those moving vlogs. Oh no, rambling, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with the beauty related products, get them all out of the way. The first thing that I wanted to haul are these bad boys right here. I'm not really into tanning. I don't want to purposely expose myself to UV rays and just sit there and bake. So I like to self tan. And I've been using the Saint Tropez mousse for years now. I love that stuff. I don't know why these never caught my eye, but I've been using these lately. They're the Saint Tropez bronzing mists. Oh my goodness, these are a game changer. It's literally like giving yourself a spray tan at home. Also, if you watch one of my best friends, Lauren Elizabeth, she talked about this body trick um, in one of her like videos about being glowy. She talks about this like leg glowing trick and I got everything. So it worked on me. I purchased the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, which is a liquid highlighter, and this is in the shade Topaz. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. But anyways, you blend it in with your lotion and you put it all over your legs, and then you take the Champagne Pop highlighter, which I don't know why it's taken me this long to buy this highlighter because it is so beautiful. I'm wearing it on my face right now. And so what you do is you dab it in there and you just draw a line down your leg and it makes them look super shimmery and glowy and I love it. And I feel like they're, it's gonna be a great trick for the summertime. So I wanted to talk about those. And then I have one more beauty product that I want to talk about. I have been such a whore with skin serums and face oils and uh, just like every single type of oil. My bathroom looks like a skincare product like chemistry lab. I've got all these like little bottles with little freaking droppers and I mix oils with serums and I put them on my face. I recently got this one from Fresh and I'm obsessed with it. It smells so relaxing. It is their Sea Berry Moisturizing Face Oil. So all I do is go in with my regular serum and then I take two drops of this, add that into it, put it on before I do my moisturizer and it has been incredible. Getting into the clothing portion, let's do this. I wish I had a bag to be like, what do we have in here? But we don't, it's okay, but I just found a way to add that in. Anyways, let's move on. I'm gonna start off with jeans because I have purchased a few that I feel very passionate about and a lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram where they're from. So, first off, we've got these like Bermuda cut shorts, basically. They're fitted, they're ripped up. I got these from Urban Outfit and I freaking love them with just like a simple t-shirt and sneakers and it's easy the butt looks great I love this style these next pair of jeans I have worn so much and I think I've owned these for about two weeks now oh my god I I'm obsessed these are like the weirdest cut pants I've ever worn but they're not that weird but like like let me explain these are also from Urban Outfitters it's the same brand it's called a gold I think basically they're super distressed pants they've got like a wide straight cut at the bottom but they're kind of like floods like they don't go all the way to your ankle so they kind of weirdly cut high but it also is kind of a look so when you wear like heeled sandals, like just simple black strap heeled sandals with them, it looks so good, but you could also just wear Converse. Anyways, I've been wearing these jeans with so many different outfits lately, and they just fit so well, and I'm just, I'm so happy. The last pair is from Topshop, and I wanted to show these because I love the top portion of them. So they're high-waisted, but they've got like a little fringe action going on right here, a little frayed. So these are gonna look super cute with crop tops where you want to actually show the waistline. They cut a little shorter, they've got the same kind of fraying at the end, and they're just super cute. I'm gonna jump to jewelry real quick. I have been so obsessed with dainty little jewelry because I'm the type of person that like, I went through a very long phase of wearing like more statement clothes and just like cooler things, but then I would keep it very simple with jewelry 
or just not wear any jewelry. And now I'm kind of going through the opposite phase where I wear super simple pieces. Like literally this is just like a cropped tube top, but then I throw on a jacket and a bunch of rings and dainty little like silver necklaces. And I'm actually wearing earrings because I like never used to wear earrings. My favorite place to get chokers and dainty necklaces, like this little pendant one right here. I'll have a close up on it, but I freaking love like little diamond necklaces like this that hang a little lower and then stacking them with simple chokers and stuff. I get all of these from the brand Argento Vivo. I think that's how you pronounce it. I hope I'm not butchering that. Every single style comes in either gold or silver. So depending on what type of person you are, you've got it all. So that I highly, highly appreciate. Um, and then I just have like a bunch of rings and stuff and I mostly get those from like Nordstrom. Going along with just things that I've been wearing lately, I've been loving like little straight across tube tops and tank tops. So I wanted to show this one from Reformation. I actually haven't worn this one yet, but it's so cute. It looks like this, the little straps tie at the top and it's just very fitted. It has a very cute girly fit to it. And then similar to that, I bought this little romper, jumpsuit, jumpsuit. Um, and a bunch of you guys wondering where this is from and it's from Reformation as well, but it just goes super long and flared at the end. And I just love how the top fits. This little corset part right here, you can loosen or tighten. So if you're going out to dinner and you need to loosen up those strings, you're covered. Um, highly appreciate that. But yeah, it's I really, really like Reformation's pieces because um, they're very flattering, they're very girly, but they're still structured and simple and mature. I will also, I will, <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear Dexter, but he's going crazy today. I am a huge fan of leotards, one pieces, whatever you want to call them. This one I recently just got from Urban. I love it. It's so simple. Like I feel so lame putting this up, but like, I'm so excited about it because it is simple, but it's ribbed. So it's got some texture and it just goes straight across. And since it's like a one piece, then um, it's just gonna tuck in really well with like the jeans that I showed you guys or like whatever. This is a really cool top. It's also from Urban Outfitters. It's a little more dainty and bralette-esque but I think if I wear it with the right pants, then I can make it look like a shirt. It's like a dusty pale pink and it's got like the little hooks in the front. I don't know, it's just adorable. I love that color for this time of year. This is a cool top that's also from Urban. I just freaking love getting like simple pieces from them. They're super affordable and just cute. I just love the fit of it and I love that it kind of has like a more modern vibe to it. So yeah, we've got two jackets because it actually does get cold here at nighttime and you can actually get away with wearing jackets. This one, I've been getting a bunch of questions on. It's a bomber jacket from the brand Love and Harmony. It just has patches all over. I've been wanting a green bomber jacket like this for so long, but every single one that I've seen at like Topshop and Urban, we're all just too like poofy. And then also I found this jacket from Topshop. It is so freaking cute. The fit of it is so flattering. It's like a little bit cropped but not too cropped. And my favorite part is um, at the end of the sleeves, they both have like little buckles around them. And so I thought that was like a really cute detail. I'm all about it. I'm gonna jump to shoes real quick. I just got these heels from Windsor Store online and they're so cute, they're so comfortable. I haven't worn them yet, but I've like worn them around my room. But I'm all about like sandals, like heeled sandals that have a little strap at the top and just, you know, like a very, very simple kind of general vibe. But I loved like the satin material and pattern on these. I think it's the perfect little spice and flair. And so these are gonna look super cute with like jeans and you know, one of these like tanks that I'm showing you guys. And yeah, these are damn, damn cute. I don't know how we just got to the last category cause I feel like that flew by, but all I have are just some swimsuits to show you guys. The first pair I have already worn and oh my God, I just freaking love it. It's from the brand Show Me Your Moo Moo. It is such a flattering piece. Okay, so clearly you're like, what is going on? Basically, I'm gonna do this over my jacket. Oh my God, I look nude. <laughs> You go across and then you tie it like this. 
<laughs> this is hilarious. It's just very cute. It's very flattering. I love the color and the pattern. The bottoms are just the same pattern and they're super flattering. The next one is from Urban Outfitters and it's pretty cool. It's a little risque because it's very low cut, but you can like pin it up as high as you want. Anyways, it's a black one piece and it's ribbed. It's super thick. It feels nice. And I just really like the little uh, v-neck down here. I think it gave a nice little like edge to it. The last bathing suit I want to show you guys is actually very, very simple. But honestly, there's something about just like a simple black one-piece bathing suit that you can have like jean shorts over if you're going to the beach or you want to throw like a top on or a jacket. I just want to talk about this one because it's very flattering and sometimes it's hard to find just simple bathing suits like this. So I got this one from Reformation. I'm a size small and it is just the most perfect little black bathing suit and it just has like a straight across cut. Super simple, but super effective, real good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's collective haul. I'm like slowly starting to get back into buying clothes and keeping up with that because I went through this weird phase where I just didn't shop for like five months, which for me is like a long time, but that's probably just normal. So expect another haul soon. I feel like I'm going to start getting more into that. And then also, yeah, I'm moving next week, so I'm gonna be doing a bunch of move-in vlogs, and um, my mom will also be in town for like seven days, so I'm gonna see if I can film something with her, maybe like mom does my voiceover, or a slumber series with her, or something, I don't know. I'm personally just very excited to be in a new environment with a fresh, clean space that is my own, and I feel like, you know, it's time. It's gonna, it's gonna feel good. All right, you guys, I will see you for a new video next week, and I love you very much. Mwah!